hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be making some lemon and poppy seed cake this is so easy and simple to make you won't regret watching this video so to begin with we're going to start with sifting three cups of cake flour to that we're going to add two tablespoons of baking powder then you're going to add two cups of granulated or caster sugar and then you're going to sift those ingredients and set them aside next step will be to mix our wet ingredients and we're going to begin with cracking four eggs to add three quarter cups of milk then you're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla essence Then you're going to juice one medium sized lemon and lastly you're going to add some lemon zest and then just give all of that a quick stir. Then we're going to go back to our dry ingredients and to that we're going to start off by adding some softened unsalted butter. Then you're going to mix your butter with your flour mixture up to a point where your flour is completely covered with your butter. Next we're going to add some poppy seeds. Once your butter has covered all the flour, you're going to make a well and then pour in your wet ingredient and stir the mixture together. Stir it until you have no lumps left. The final step for our cake will be to grease a cake tin and then pour in your mixture. Even out the surface. Place it in a 180 degree oven that has been preheated for 15 to 20 minutes or until the cake has cooked through. You're going to begin with some softened butter. You're just going to give that a quick mix just to make sure that it is it does not have any lumps. In. You're going to add some plain medium fat cream cheese. Then to that, you're going to add some lemon juice, some vanilla essence, and lemon zest. And you're going to give that a quick stir. Then you're going to add three cups of icing sugar. And that's your icing, so you're going to give that a complete mix. While your and while your cake is baking, you can place this mixture into your refrigerator. What's great about this icing sugar as well is that you can use this for many, many different ingredients, vanilla cupcakes, and you can store it in your fridge for up to two weeks with no compromise on the quality. Once your cake has been done, you can put it outside to rest and cool down for 30 to 45 minutes. Once it has cooled down sufficiently, you can then separate the cake tin and the cake from each other and allow it to cool for a further 30 minutes. You can now place icing on your cake. I've only iced the top of my cake, but you can feel free to ice the whole entire cake. Last but not least, we're just going to garnish with some fresh lemon poppy seeds.
and that's it for me guys thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe to this channel if you're not already a subscriber thank you and see you next time